And that's the tea. And that's the tea. Happy Vlogmas Day 6. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go get a COVID test now. <laughs> I don't have any symptoms and um, I feel perfectly fine. It's just to get you cleared to travel. Yeah, because I need to go home for Christmas. And if I don't get my COVID test, then it's not really safe for me to travel yeah. because I might carry it. And my university has has to see that we've all been tested. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and then after that, we're doing a Christmas challenge. Mm -hmm. So, the Christmas challenge is is that we both have a maximum of fifteen pounds, <laughs> and we're going to a pound shop um, in America. I think it's like a dollar store, like a Dollar Tree. I think they call it the Dollar Tree, or yeah, um, we've got one that's both called Poundland or Pound World. And what we're going to do is that we're going to try and pick stocking fillers for each other. I think you're going to find this a lot easier. I think I will. Um, because there's, you know, there's like a little kids section and stuff. Yeah, um, I know you're going to get me, but it'll be interesting. Yeah. What's going to have to happen as well is that I'm going to have to try and not see what he's picking and he's going to have to see. Yeah, we're going to have to avoid each other. Yeah, um, which is not going to be easy because I don't like being in shops alone. But I have an extreme, extremely obnoxious clashing outfit on. It's going to be covered by a coat, but I thought I'd show you anyway. <laughs> I have this Grinch jumper. Ow. This is from Depop because I got it second hand. I get most of my stuff second hand. And then I have these <laughs> Grinch leggings. Underneath I have my Think he's done onesie, um, which I'm thinking of doing a a onesie haul um, pretty soon. I just have to get two more onesies to come, and then you'll see that somewhere within Vlogmas. Hopefully, if it comes in time, yeah, yeah because one of them's from <laughs> onesies down under. <laughs> what? You both went in time, in time, and then uh, yeah. <laughs> did we? <laughs> but yeah. Then we need to pick up a few more bits for another idea we have. Oh yeah, we've got a really good idea, haven't we? Yeah. And we've got lots of, we've got some amazing um, baking ideas as well. Yeah. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Yeah. But I think I need to pick a stuffy to come with me since I'm going to go get the COVID test. It's not um the one that's like up your nose apparently. Apparently it's a blood test. And I had a blood test yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just take my binky with me. Yeah. I'm going to take the camera so I can get my binky. I can't remember where we got this from. It's, it's, it's a Disney charity store. shop, I think. Yeah, it's a Disney store one. It was that um, Demelza place. Yeah, and behind Daddy is technically the matching food for this. That one? Yeah, if you bring it over, you'll see why. Can you see it? Oh, because they got like a greyed out nose. Yeah, they grey. Even though this is really red, this is actually a really soft yellow. Yeah. And he's really like floppy, like his legs are. So this is a really, really old um, Winnie the Pooh Roo. Yeah. He's completely like stiff, but he's part of like the original Disney store. I can't remember where's the thing. It's in the middle. So I, if you remember this logo, you know how old this is. So yeah. it's the Disney store when I was a child. Never had this logo. No. That's probably like a seventies at least. Yeah, it was definitely pre thousands, like two thousands. Yeah. It might be a nineties thing. Maybe. But so I kinda remember that colour scheme, but yeah. I might just be wrong. There are so many Winnie the Pooh things. I'm very lucky to have lots of things. I'm going to wear this, which is from um Lil Lily's boutique. Yeah. And it's it says cutie pie on it. And she also gave me these. But my hair's too fluffy to wear them today. Oh. Almost goes the cup of tea. I'll take that one. Mm -hmm. And I wear these lots. And I the thing that I wear most is the star bracelet that she got me. And I really really like it. I even wear it to uni. Mm -hmm. Another cup of tea. <laughs> You're wearing Christmas jumper. Yeah, of course. Should I show them? Yeah. <laughs> it's got 
Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charizard, no, Charmander, Charizard, and then the, the this with Pokeballs in it too. Boop. You gotta nourish to flourish. I'm separated from daddy and yeah let's go hi guys so we're back from um Poundland now and it's a little bit later just because I'm in a lecture right now <laughs> um and yeah and what we're going to do is we're all going to film each other well I'm gonna film myself wrapping up um daddy's stocking bits and he's going to film himself wrapping up mine and I'm not sure how we're going to edit this honestly because what I might do is edit some of it on my phone and then pass it across to him um but yeah I can't wait for him to open it I know like it's all from Poundland so it's little bits and just things like that but it's nice to just get something for somebody I love buying presents um yeah and I've yeah I'm just really excited um yeah so I'm in a lecture right now so we'll tell you how it's been and we'll also show you some bits that we got from Morrison's we managed to get a reef reef or reef reef a Christmas reef <laughs> okay we've got a Christmas reef and we're gonna put it on the front door when we get um a hook uh oh Okay, sorry, my lecture paused. So yeah, well, you, you've got it put on the wall. We've got some things to also make a video with and I'm so excited to make these things. As you know, me and daddy love baking and making things. So my lecture's finished and I thought it would be nice that I could show you what I got um, daddy for his stockings. So I got this wrapping paper um, I'm going to wrap all of his presents in it. So I got him some pop tarts because I think, I don't know if he's tried them before, but I think he'll really like them. Um, Daddy's a bit of a foodie, so I think he'll like things like this. I'll show you all the food items first. This isn't for him, this is for one of our other things. He loves these Harry bow roulette things and you don't get them very often but he has them in his advent calendar and he said he was really looking forward to getting them so I thought I'd pick them up for him um, some chocolate some more chocolate mm -hmm. this is his favourite chocolate now it's harder for me to pick things for daddy because daddy could go straight to the, the baby or the sweet section and kind of go crazy whereas I couldn't really get him toys. Uh, the only things I could really buy for him from um, the Poundland is toiletries and food or Christmas decorations and I thought he's going to open it by the time Christmas is nearly over there's no point in getting him Christmas decorations. So I decided to go with food and toiletries because it's only the stocking and the only things that we have in our stockings that are the same every single year is that we have an apple and an orange. Um, I'm not sure if many other countries do this, but especially in my family, we always have an apple and an orange at the bottom of our stocking. Um, I'm not sure why, but I think it's something that I'm definitely gonna carry on that tradition um, if we decide to grow our own family. So, yeah. <laughs> I got him these Mr. Kipling Christmas slices. Um, so these are all things that don't go off. Um, and if they do go off, they don't go off into like 
the 7th of January 2022. Yeah, so it's okay to put in a stocking and I'm going to take them out of the packaging as well and wrap them all individually. And this is the last thing that I got him. He's wanted to try this for ages. They're like the big um, M&M bars, but they're two pounds in Poundland. They're so expensive. And if you get them in normal shops, they they can range between two pound fifty to three pound fifty in places like Tesco and Asda. I'm not sure why, but I got him the crunchy caramel one because I think he hasn't tried that flavour of chocolate in a while. You're very low, aren't you? I hope you can see me okay. I love my leggings, and I know I clash, but it's Christmas and yeah I've made myself shy now um, okay. he still has his tag on him daddy got me this it's a Disney store stitch and he's got a crown and I think he's really pretty okay I got him this <laughs> You can dig for like uh, dinosaur bones and stuff or like a dinosaur and I thought it'd be really fun for him to do because I expect he's probably got me something to like open and play with so I thought you could do it at the same time and it's probably quite satisfying to break apart. Okay, so this isn't for daddy, well it's for both of us. So it's this gold and silver metallic paint for one of the arts and crafts that we're going to be doing for Christmas. Um, and I'm really excited about that. Um, of course, this is a typical thing you always get for the guys in your family and girls in your family because we always receive deodorant. It's always one of those things. You always get a link set or something. Um, so I just got him two of these since they're 50p each. One of them says rock on them. And I mean, it's not the same genre. <laughs> But Daddy likes metal music and it was the closest one. And the other one says Samba and it reminded me of Simba, so I got it. And then, of course, just some Nivea shower gel. Um, again, like I said, stockings aren't, in my family, um, aren't our main presents. This is kind of like the little things that we get to open um, ourselves. I've always been quite lucky at Christmas. Um, our family... Uh, starts shopping for Christmas in January and we save up a lot of money for Christmas not so much Christmas presents but just for Christmas in general so we can see each other we can travel to see each other and on Boxing Day we always spend Boxing Day together Christmas is going to be really difficult for me this year because um, me and daddy won't be together on Christmas Day for the first time since we've dated but the reason's good. Um, last year we spent it with my family and this year, for the first time ever, I'm spending it with my dad. Um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but I've never spent one away from my mum before. But I, I'll still see them, but it just means that me and daddy will be in separate cities. So... We're having our own mini Christmas where we'll open all of this stuff and do a Christmas and Christmas meal. Um, we'll go and see Christmas lights. It, it's still going to be so good. And it just means that I get one, two, four to five Christmases. Because <laughs> uh, I have quite a big family. And obviously because of COVID, I really don't want to put anybody in danger. Um, by traveling between houses on Christmas Day. So it just means that I get to see family on different days and Christmas is gonna last super long and I'm so excited. Anyway, there's one last thing. I know it's like not very Christmassy, but this is a USB charging power tower. Um, he's always wanted one of these because we have so many things to kind of plug in, but he's always, always wanted one of these and it wasn't a pound. It was five pounds. Um, I am gonna probably have to take it out of the box to give to him. But yeah, so I'm gonna go fill up a hot water bottle. I'm gonna sit here with my wrapping paper and I'm gonna wrap it all into lots of little bits and put it in his stocking. <laughs>
wrapping everything is all wrapped individually so anything that was like in the packet um it's just been wrapped up really quickly really badly um just so it's really quick and easy to open and now i gotta try and fit yeah okay the other idea is to also fill up this christmas hat so i'm gonna put you guys here look at that again and now you can see me struggle to try and fill these up <laughs> some in there and this is also full. I'm so excited for daddy to open them. He's currently currently doing some editing and yeah I'm gonna go show him his two bags so I'll try and take you along with me if I can carry both of them. Knock knock. Oh I just remembered we've got our Halloween doormat still down. Just wanted to see your reaction. That's nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi guys. So we're back from doing our Poundman challenge, and I just thought I'd show you what I got, Bubba. Um, she's in class right now, so this is probably the best time to show you. <clears throat> I didn't record much in Poundland because my phone was dying, so I thought it'd just be best to. <clears throat> recap on it now. I got uh, quite a selection. We were meant to stick to £15. Pound. don't think either of us did. Um, but yeah, we'll get started with it. So first things first. Giant elf on the shelf lollipop. Um, she loves lollipops. She loves elf on the shelf. Standard go figure. Perfect gift really. Um, pop that there. Next we have, so I'm going to probably get all the food out of the way, some snowy fingers. She loves, loves fingers. So again, another good, good one to get if you ever want to buy her anything. Uh, what else? Some, of course, Kinder. Um, all time favourite for both me and her. And some Kit Kat Snowmen. Um, pretty sure she likes these. If not, I, I can have them. <laughs> Got her this. It's a Frozen 2 bottle. Um, <clears throat> fizzy Apple Splash. We've had it before, but it's, it's basically like an apple... Fizzy Apple Juice. But these... It, this is honestly so good and I really like a bottle. We don't know where we did keep some bottles, but we, I don't know where they went. So, this might be a cool decorative thing to have maybe in their little room somewhere. So, there's that one. Um, I think that's all the food. So, nice lip balm, blueberry. That'd be. She loves, loves her lip balm, always losing it though, so it's always good to get a new. Got her some tipsy plum 
scented tea lights. Nice and fruity, um, but not like sweet. It's quite a deep scent. So there's that. This cute little, it's like a sort of crinkle center. Um, a rattle in the head and some Tiva bits. So that'd be a good comfort thing for when she's little, little, when she's deep in her headspace. Um, got her this. Oh, it's called Lily Blush Little Petal. Don't know how to. It's a eau de parfum spray for women. They had a tester. I couldn't smell it on the tester, and I didn't really want to spray it on myself just in case she smelt it on me. I was like, oh, gotta get a perfume. So. Hopefully this is nice. Um, it's Poundland, so not expecting much, but you know, if it's nice, it's nice. Then bargain. If anyone knows, ooh, if anyone knows Bubba, they know that she loves fluffy, fluffy socks, especially pink. Uh, this is like a pink and black leopard print, and these are like black and glittery. So these would be perfect for <clears throat> a cold Christmas day. Um, a reindeer duck. So just yeah, a nice Christmas bath. You can sit there. I did get her a couple of toys, so. This little, they're called Sparkle Squad. There wasn't that many toys in Poundland like there normally is, so I didn't have much to choose from. So I chose the best two that didn't look too tacky or just disposable. But um, yeah, so this little butterfly doll. And then this one I was m pretty probably most excited about. It's a doll. It's based off of a Barbie doll called Bella. But it's a person of colour. So so Bubba has always wanted a doll that looks like her. Or as close to as social standards will come. So I thought that would be a nice gift. Uh, it can be a placeholder until she actually gets a proper big doll, a proper baby doll that looks like her. Um, but yeah, that's everything that's going to go in her stocking. Don't honestly know how it's all going to fit. It's a bit much, honestly. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, probably. I actually stayed kind of within budget, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is that it's just a challenge to find things that people would, would like really, really want in Poundland. That's the whole point of the challenge, and it's, it's it was interesting to do, and I'm surprised with what I came up with. Um, so yeah, I'm quite quite pleased with that one. Um yeah, so I'm sure you'll see Bubba's what she's got or I have seen what she's got me. Sorry if I look a bit rough. Um it's a little bit later now. We've done some editing, we've made some Patreon content. So now it's time for little like yeah, little time. I've got my tenor on and we're getting underneath the blankets and then we're gonna show you what we got uh, at Morrison's. We'll show you everything, including like the food and stuff we got. Where's Mickey? Where's Mickey? Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Gotta have my mix mix. That works. You're not in the video. Maybe it is. 
So this is a mini haul from after the Poundland challenge. Just been to Poundland. And then we went to Morrison's because there were some things we need for another video. Yeah. Um, and we, we got a little bit carried away, didn't we? Um. But um, we got the essential bits. <laughs> essential for videos. <laughs> we got some Starbucks things because they were three for three pound. Three for three pound. Three for three pound. Mm. Three for three pound. These are some of Bubba's and my favourites. Some fruit shortcakes. Mm. Got this. It's one of my favourite spreads, but we also are going to use it. I need to order that Reese's one. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to use this for another video. I can't wait to attempt. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I kind of forgot what I was going to say. You can't wait for them to see it. Yeah. This is Lotus spread. Um, Lotus Biscoff. I don't like it. You, I, I you like, like the, the biscuit. biscuits. Yeah. But I haven't actually tried them real. <laughs> You're really shy. I love you. I love you. Got this cute ribbon yarn thing. Yeah, I've got lots of Christmas presents for family. And I want to wrap them up nice. Are you okay? Things you let me keep some bam sugar. This isn't very interesting, but Not right now, I no. thought we'd just show you everything. Just in case you'd like to know what we got. Biscuit assortment and classic biscuits of custard creams, bourbon creams, malted milk and shortcakes. It's not normally shortcakes, is it? It's normally nice biscuits. Nice. Is it called Nice? Because it's named after the French town. Um, I thought they were called Nice Biscuits. <laughs> they're pretty nice. But yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's normally Nice. It's not normally shortcakes. So this is probably a better one. These shortcakes are banging. Stonking. Stonking. If anybody else watches Barry Lewis, then you're a legend. Pull my bag. Pull your bag. <laughs> so, this one was a bit of a bargain. It's 24 Coke cans for £2. It was £2.63. For 24 Cokes. And I don't ever have... Yeah, the original it. Coke, I don't really have that much. Often. I get a bit nervous having red coke, but then I, I just have... I think I prefer the taste of zero in the bottles. I always have diet coke. The, the silver one. Yeah. Why is my voice going like that? <coughs> in the bottles, I prefer zero, but in the cans, the original is good. I think in the bottles, it's too, like... Almost like it sticks to your teeth and it just feels weird. Yeah. Isn't from Morrison's, as I got off of Amazon. But some of them are breaking. There's some like bits you gotta be careful, I think. Oh, okay. Uh oh. But this is for another video idea. Um, it's these acorns. They're pine cones. Pine cones? Acorn pine cones? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're pine cone acorn no. pythons. <laughs> but yeah, so that's for another video idea. Um, stay tuned for that one. Oh, it's all over there. What is it? This. Oh, I I showed the spray paint to you did when you? I when I did the when I did the um when I showed what I got Daddy's thing. Yeah. Let's find them because then they know exactly what it's for then. The first thing we picked up when we went to Morrison's. That's my Biscoff spread. Yeah, but but Mickey's like Pooh Bear, but with Biscoff spread. This isn't real, is it? 
It kind of smells real, but it feels bouncy. It's real. Is that actually real? Smell it. That's what I thought. Like, it smells real, but like, it's so bouncy. Yeah, but I just broke this bit. Smell it. Yeah. So we've got this wreath. <laughs> it's so big. So we're going to try and get one of those. Oh, she's gone in. Can you not get it off? It's nice time. Mistletoe. <laughs> <laughs> I look. Da, 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 quitch. But yeah, it smells like. It's so like bouncy and. It smells so good. It smells like leaves. I guess it kind of has to be real if it's going outside. But yeah, so we're going to get like one of those hooks that can like go on your door and then you can hang off of it. I'm going to just let her carry on with this. Can you help me get it off, please? Yeah. I've put many wreaths over my head, it hurts when it comes off. Ow! <laughs> oh my god, your hair! <laughs> right, you're gonna have to pull your hair out, right? I'm holding it. <laughs> Silly. I literally look like I've gone through a hedge backwards. <laughs> Do you mean going through a hedge backwards? I said. Oh, I thought you said head. No, it works. Oh, I don't know. So there's next one. There's one for me and one for Bubba. And they match our, um, we got matching Christmas outfits that you see at the beginning of every episode. Mm. Episode. Oh. <laughs> They're Christmas. I just got some... We need to put those in the fridge. Do you reckon they're gone off now? No. Okay. We forgot to put these in the freezer. They are not pigs and blankets, pigs and yeah. blankets without the pigs. Or the blankets. Yeah. <laughs> so this one's daddy's. Yeah. And this one's a film. <laughs> film? Yeah, video this idea. This one's for a video idea yeah. as well. Can you guys guess what this video idea is? Because yeah. we've made quite a lot of hints at it today, but you, but I. It's quite a niche, an interesting one, but it's a popular trend right now. Yeah, it's a good trend right now, but I don't think anybody else would. I don't think I'll do clock on to it now. No. But we've got lots of baking videos lined up. It's something that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> It's something we love to do. Yeah, I get a bit stressed sometimes though. Oh well. Okay, they leak. Don't do that. Do you like my onesie? <laughs> right. It's ridden up a little bit. This next one, we got two of. Yeah, we got two of these for the neighbours because... Well, one for the neighbours. One for the neighbours. One for us. Yeah. The neighbour next door is they're very kind and they have children and for, we gave them Halloween sweeties but we didn't give them to them, we put them outside their door and we'll do the same for the celebrations because they always hold our pass parcels for us. What? Celebrations. Didn't I say celebrations? Yeah. Wait. You gave it away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so we got two tons of celebrations. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably the same one for the neighbours because they always hold our packages and I think they're just generally quite nice. Um Right. Bedtime for day six. <coughs> uh oh. Bye bye. What's in your bed? Just water. So, bedtime of day six means we get another advent calendar book.
<laughs> Almost. There you go. Let's give it an open. A cool contest. A cool contest. Okay. It's time for our and girls annual ice carving contest. Anna and Olaf fancy their chances of winning. But when they see they're up against Kristoff and Sven, the competition really heats up. Wow. Mm. This is when we do it, Daddy. Yeah. Well, we'll get ready for bed and then we'll start reading it. Do you like my baba? I like it a lot. It's got a half a lump on it. And this is Mickey, and he's wearing a top that we got from the charity shop. And I like it a lot. <laughs> Pardon? And I like you a lot. I like you a lot too. Hmm. And this Passy is from Rainbow Passies. It's got moving on it. I thought it matches my one sticker. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. A cool contest. Oh yeah, we put this up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> Princess Anna looked around the courtyard. It's a perfect day for her annual ice carving contest, she told her sister, Queen Elsa. Cold, clear and bright. Elsa smiled. She had loved this contest when she was younger. Now that the castle gates were open again, she was thrilled to bring back the, tra the tradition. Ice harvesters had dragged large blocks of ice into the castle courtyard so the con contestants could carve their creations. That was a difficult sentence. Yeah. And from the large crowd, it seemed as if almost everyone in Arendelle was taking part in the contest. Oh, oh, there we go. Olaf ran up to the sisters. The little snowman tugged on Anna's dress. Come on, Anna, he said. Let's find our ice. I thought Anna was spelt with one N. No, it's two N's. Is that not just Anna then? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it's so different. Okay, said Anna, laughing. 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 <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Elsa. Good luck, Elsa called. As Olaf took Anna by the hand, <laughs> they, pick, they picked up their carving tools and went to their block of ice. Nearby, Kristoff and Sven were admiring their own block of ice. I know this is my first time sculpting ice, said Kristoff, but I've been cutting blocks of ice since I was a kid. We know the secrets of ice and we'll make a great sculpture. Sven nodded eagerly. Just then, Elsa clapped her hands. Good morning, everyone, she said. Welcome to the ice carving contest. The crowd cheered. The rules are simple, Elsa said. Carvers may either work alone or in teams of two. Each team will have until sun. Oop. Each team will have until the sun sets to finish their sculpture. Then I will choose the winners. You may now. Begin. Begin. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> As they all began, Anna noticed Kristoff and Sven were next to her and Olaf. She held out her hand to Kristoff. Good luck, she said. May the best artist win, replied Kristoff. Anna and Olaf began happily chipping away at their block of ice. This is fun, said Olaf. I wonder what it is we're making. I guess we'll find out, replied Anna as she happily hammered away at the block. 
sending ice chips flying everywhere. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 Nearby, Anna saw Kristoff and Sven with their ears to the ice block, checking for cracks before carefully carving into it. Anna and Olaf had been having so much fun chipping away that Anna noticed their ice didn't look like anything. Maybe Kristoff and Sven had the right idea. Anna and Olaf stopped carving and put down their tools. Kneeling, Anna listened, tried to listen to the ice. What is it saying? Olaf asked. I don't hear anything, said Anna. But then she noticed all the small lines and cracks in the ice. She knew where the ice would break. The friends picked up their tools and merrily started chipping away again. The pair's laughter caught Kristoff, Kristoff's attention, although the sculpture looked a little funny. Anna and Olaf seemed to be having good, good, beer, 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 beer. Anna and Olaf seemed to be having a good time. Kristoff looked at Sven and their block of ice. As they had been so careful when carving into it, they had barely made a dent. Maybe we don't need to be so careful, Kristoff told Sven. And I think I know just what we should carve. He whispered something into Sven's ear. The reindeer smiled and the two of them got back to work. Kristoff used his chisel, and Sven used the sharp points of his antlers. Soon, they were laughing too. Wow, look at all the sculptures. Wow. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. As the hours ticked by, all the teams were working hard, and many of the sculptures began to take shape. One team was carving a dolphin, while another was creating an ocean bird. Kristoff and Sven slowly worked on the ice block, while Anna and Olaf were still chipping away as fast as they could. Do you, do you see what they're making? Olaf. Olaf. What are they making? I don't know yet. <laughs> Nothing from the looks of it. Oh. Huh? Time had soon run out, and Elsa had to pick a winner. She walked up and down the rows, amazed at all the sculptures people had created. She smiled when she saw Kristoff and Sven's sculpture. It looked like Sven. It's too bad you weren't able to finish, said Elsa. Where didn't they finish? Uh, the... mm. There. Next, Elsa looked at Anna and Olaf's. Well, you finished your sculpture, she said. But what is it? It's an ice man, explained Olaf. It's wonderful, Elsa said politely. Elsa moved from team to team. She had many beautiful sculptures to choose from. But when Elsa saw Olina and Kai's sculpture of the castle, she knew there could be only one winner. It's beautiful, cried Elsa. Olina and Kai are the winners. She placed a ribbon on their sculpture. As the crowd erupted into applause, Olina and Kai smiled proudly. Although neither Anna or Kristoff won, they couldn't wait until the next contest. The end. So what did you think of it? It was a good book. <laughs> you ready for my notes? See you tomorrow for another Vlogmas packed vlog day. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.